Hello everyone, myself Dr. Rasika Chaudhuri, junior resident from the Department of Radio Diagnosis, GMC Nagpur. The topic for my paper presentation is known of ultrasound in conjunction with elastography and differentiating breast mass with FNSC correlation. Now moving on to the introduction. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer in women worldwide with the widely variable incidence between regions. The peak incidence in developed countries is above the age of 40, 50 years, whereas in India it is slightly earlier, that is below, above the age of 40 years. The detection of breast cancer is earliest possible stage, therefore is the ultimate goal of imaging the breast and the role of radiology is therefore vital. So the various modalities are available like mammography, sonography, elastography, MR with and without contrast, MR elastography and tone mammography. The different uh, uh, advantages of ultrasound over other modalities are it helps to differentiate between cystic and solid masses. The pulpit mass is not visible in radiography, the dense breasts for abscess are better than ultrasound. Masses that are not completely evaluated with mammography or uh, cancer is obscured mammographically by dense breast tissue is seen better on ultrasound. And in young patients who are susceptible to radiation damage, they can have advantage of ultrasound over mammography. Therefore, the American College of Radiologists uh, states that USC should be used as a first line investigation tool for particle masses in women. In the aims and objectives of my study were to differentiate between the breast masses into brain and malignant with ultrasound in conjunction with elastography to correlate the imaging findings with FNSE or biopsy and to study the role of bi staging in preoperative tumor staging of breast malignancies. Now, methods. Patients step from the Department of uh, Radiology, GMC Nagpur, for ultrasound of breast were matched with the inclusion criteria and those in the inclusion criteria were excluded. A short relevant clinical history was taken along with the family history, if any, and uh, also, the previous ultrasound findings were compared with the current findings if available. The sample size was set up to be 30. The study was a prospective observational study with the time frame was May 2020 to September 2020. All patients referred for breast ultrasound uh, with symptoms like palpable lung, mastalgia, nipple discharge, breast discomfort, or retraction of nipple, and who further underwent FNAC or biopsy were included. And exclusion criteria were patient usage in the department who had already been assessed for their breast masses or already had a history of irritated breast with a new mass lesion were excluded. The conventional positioning was given for um, breast ultrasound with the supine position and arm placed behind the head. The bilateral breast and axilla were uh, evaluated on B-scale and on color doppler modes. The patients were examined in overlapping scans in radial and anteradial planes from nipple to periphery into orthogonal planes. If a lesion was found, a string elastography was also performed. The region was discovered on the following headings like shape, margins, echogenicity, calcification for internal vascularity, and associated findings the presence of lymph nodes, fatty hilum presence in measuration of the pectoralis muscle surrounding structures and ductal involvement. Um, subsequently, the USG bias category was assigned to the masses. The string elastography was performed by obtaining an elastogram, which was made up of varying shades of blue to red, blue towards softer or a benign category, and red is towards more hard or a stiff category, which towards malignant category. The dual split screen was used uh, which, with one side with the conventional beam mode and the other side displayed the elastographic image. The patients were followed up and the HP outcome of the patient was noted down. This was the uh, elastic scoring system used, which was a Sukuba scoring system, which uh, had a scoring of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3 in groups of B9 and 4 and 5 towards the malignant. Now, the results or observation results of the study. The age distribution of the study. The age group in this ranged from 21 to 78 years. And the maximum number of patients seen were more than 60 years of age group. Next highest number were in the age of 41 to 50 years, which comprised 26% of the study population, whereas the least were less than 30 years of age. Uh, now, study comprised of zero males forming 0% of the population, and all the patients were females. Family history of uh, Carcinoma of breast. Out of 30 cases, only six patients forming 20% of study population had a family history of breast cancer, whereas 24% had no history of breast cancer. These were the USG findings with various characteristics. Most of the lesions were hypoechoic, 60% of the study group, and 10 lesions had mixed echogenicity, whereas two lesions were anechoic. 11 lesions had regulated margins, 18 lesions had irregular margins, only two lesions had smooth margins. Calcification was seen in 20% in 20 cases at 66%, whereas absent in 10 lesions. Interascularity was demonstrated in 25% in 25 out of the 30 lesions, and 83.3%, that is, uh, vascularity was present, whereas no vascularity could be demonstrated in rest. Lesions showing morphology wider than taller was seen in 12 
that is 40 percent of the study group whereas 60 percent of the study morphology showed taller than wider which is like to suggest for malignancy this is the graphic score wise distribution which showed that out of the 30 lesions maximum number of lesions had elastographic score of four comprising 46.6 percent of the study population the second most common score given was one seen in 11 lesions forming 36 percent of the population now this was the characteristic of the lesion according to the elastographic findings based on the elastographic score 13 out of the 30 lesions had a benign score 17 had a malignant score which were suggestive of malignancy based on the elastography findings. This was the Byard's wise score distribution of lesion. Uh, maximum number of lesions were categorized as Byard's score, corresponding to probably malignant lesion with likelihood of cancer to 95%, which comprised 66% of the population. And the next most common was Byard's 5, which is a high likelihood of cancer more than 95. This category comprised 26% of the population. This was the distribution of lesion according to the histopathology. Uh, no, 14 cases too, uh, had benign lesion HP comprised 46% of the study population and 16 cases were proved to be malignant, which comprised 53.3% of the population. So this was the correlation between elastography and HPV findings. Uh, the test we used was chi square test. Uh, a statistically significant correlation was found between the elastography and the HP outcome with a p-value of 0 0.03, which was less than 0 0.05. The positive probability value was 76.92 and the negative probability value was 76.4%. Then the correlation between the combined conventional USG and elastography with HP was again high. That is, the p-value came out to be 0 0.02. The combined probability value was 77.78. Combined negative probability value was 66.6. .6, and the accuracy of the two examinations combined was 70%. This is the correlation between USG plus elastography and HTML finding in the study group in a schematic way, which shows a significant uh, statistical significance of the combined USG plus elastography and HP findings. So the conclusion of the study was we consider in this prospective study that combined elastography with the conventional ultrasound, it has more specificity and possibility value as compared to elastography alone. And elastography is a significant additive to determine the need for biopsy of the masses. Now moving on to some tests and images. This was a 24-year-old female who came with a complete of painless lump in left breast with no history of nipple discharge or retraction. Now this was the beam or ultrasound, which shows a well-defined round to oval uh, uh, lesion seen in the upper outer quadrant of left breast, which had irregular margins at places, which appears wider than taller with no calcific cocci within, no evidence of significant architectural distortion or acid, which is a doctor involvement seen. This was given as a Byrads 2. And then on elastography, we can see uh, there are areas of blue and green areas of mosaic. That is, most of the region is deformable, although there are areas which are not deformable. So this was a given as a superbus score too. On uh, further follow-up, this came out to be a fibroadenoma with epithelial hyperplasia. Therefore, consistent with the findings. Now, case 2 was a 56-year-old female who came with a complaint of sudden increase in the size of the swelling with no history of pain, nipple disease, or retraction. On mode ultrasound, we can see a well-defined uh, lobulated round to oval lesion seen in the lower outer quadrant of left breast, which has, which has a few calcifications within, which uh, has regular margins, which appears wider than taller, and no evidence of cystic areas, no adjacent involvement can be seen in this uh, image, like better involvement, etc. Then on the uh, elastogram, we can see the uh, lesion appears, uh, the elastogram appears homogeneously blue with few green areas within. Uh, the lesion and the adjacent tissues are blue. That is, no deformation is seen throughout the entire lesion or in the adjacent tissue. Therefore, this was even a superbus score of 5. On color Doppler, it was taking some vascularity. Therefore, the score was increased from Byatsi to Byatsi 4C. Then on further follow-up of FNAC, we found out that it was given as moderately proliferative stromal neoplasm with OTPR. Therefore, the findings were significantly consistent. Now, case 3, 37-year-old female who came with painless palpable lump in right breast with no history of nipple infection or discharge. On b ultrasound, we can see a uh, mm, relatively well-defined hypoechoic lesion seen in at the junction of the at 12 o'clock position in the right breast with lobulated and 
irregular margins at places with no calcifications within, which appears taller than wider, with no auxiliary addition features in this image, which was given as a barrier three. Then on the elastogram, we can see that the vision it is it shows mixed areas of blue and green, which and adjacent red green areas which shows that the deformity in the periphery of the lesion although the center is blue okay so this is a given as super score three and color doppler it was taken just taking mild uh, peripheral vascularity on follow this came out to be a fibroadenoma or phyloid tumor now case four a 40 year old female with lump in left breast and nipple detection present no history of pain uh, on the more ultrasound, we can see a uh, irregular, uh, in ill-defined hypoechoic vision seen in the uh, retroilular region of uh, left breast with irregular margins, which appears here. It appears wider than taller. Then it was given a score of Barrett's five, and uh, on elastogram, it was a. The tissue appears homogeneously blue, that is, the lesion addition tissues are blue and no deformation throughout the entire region is seen. Therefore, this was given as a scope of five, which has a high risk of malignancy. On follow up, this came out to be a uh, ductal carcinoma. The last case a 40 year female with painless lump in left breast, no history of nipple discharge or retraction. It was a well defined round to oval, uh, anechoic or a hypoechoic cystic lesion seen with posterior acoustic enhancement in the at three o'clock position in at nine o'clock position in left breast and no adjacent features it appears wider than taller and on elastography it was showing a visa a blue blue green red flaring which is a typical of uh, cyst, cystic lesions on fnc it came out to be a simple breast strip so these are my references Thank you.